Stickers! My name is Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh! Alright, last episode. You can do it, but I can. That's basically the rule around here, isn't it? No, I just did it for the intro. When you do it for your name like that, it just sounds weird. Whatever, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Last episode, we finished a uh, case, the kidnap turnabout. Woo! So now we are on to episode four. Dun dun. <laughs> bum bum. Turnabout, remin <laughs> turnabout reminisce. Okay. Reminence. Reminisce? Reminence. Re rem reminisce. You know, actually, I'm not even going to say it. My pronunciation is uh, poo poo, apparently, so. But you have a plethora of words. Wow, you're really going to start off this episode with that BS, huh? Yes. You you horner me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh my let's god. Confirm. Yeah. Oh. Dingus. K Faraday, the young lady who calls herself the second Yada Garasi. Oh crap. Wait, I've still oh I'm like I'm like really far back. Okay. K Faraday, the yeah, you're probably gonna do this for right now. Th okay. Boy, what, what, what am I missing? Da, da. Yeah, that's right. I, I did it. I, I killed the guy. But it was the great thief Yadagaratsu that told me to do it. Objection. Whoa, who's this? I asked the defendant just exactly are you trying to say. Don't you get it? I know the true identity of Yadagaratsu. Whoa. Who is those people? The Yadakarasu is the man standing over there at the prosecutor's bench! Are you saying that I'm the Yadakarasu? Don't you dare deny it! You, you told me to kill him when you stuck it to the embassy! Uh, what? Mm. Are you claiming that Mr. Faraday is it? Mr. Rell, I think I've just heard about enough of you! Your Honor, please listen to me! I'm telling the truth! You've got to believe me! Who is that lady and the guy? I don't know. Hmm. In accordance with the defendant's accusation, a new prosecutor shall be called to replace Mr. Faraday. <gasps> this judge will be in recess until the new prosecutor is ready. Mm. Mr. Faraday. That's Kay's dad? I mean, same last name. I mean, we can assume. Yeah, okay. Are you there? Not yet. I'm so sorry. I was so far behind. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Now I'm there. Alright. September 10th, 320, District Court, 3rd Floor Lobby. <clears throat> it's almost time for me to enter the courtroom. Oh, it's baby Edward. <laughs> And it, so, it, so it is that my first assignment as a prosecutor will be as a replacement for a prosecutor who has been accused by the defendant. Edgeworth! Oh. Huh? Oh. <gasps> Sir! Manfred! Have you read over all the documents regarding this trial? Y yes, sir. I've memorized everything there is to know. Very good. Paperwork for the prosecutor's substitution is just about complete. Edgeworth, always bear in mind that as your mentor, I, Manfred von Karma, will accept nothing short of perfection. I understand, sir. To have the chance to stand in court at such an early stage of my career, I am honored and proud. As I have watched over your studies, I am giving you this very rare chance. Prove yourself. Crushed the defendant's pathetic lies into oblivion. Yes, sir. God, evil man. <laughs> that such a legendary prosecutor is watching over and judging my performance. I have to be perfect in every way. Okay, alright, uh. Where do I go? Do I talk to people? Uh, I guess so. Can I talk to this guy hitting the water fountain or whatever he's doing? Uh, what is he doing? I don't know, sir. This is so good. 
could drink a whole gallon. I've never heard of a water that tastes that good. Maybe I'll give him a minute. Oh my god, he's still going. Okay, alright. Is he planning on gulping an entire reservoir dry? Alright. What about the old man? Uh, the one on the bench? Yeah, I think. Oh, oh, so they. Excuse me, madam, but is something the matter? Oh, I just thought someone would have brought hors d'oeuvres by now. Uh, but this is a courthouse. It would be quite atypical to provide hors d'oeuvres here. Are you sure? Someone brought me a fresh cup of coffee last time I was here. What the heck does she think a courthouse is for? Oh, that's funny. Alright, what about the guy with the kid? Aren't these great? Daddy made all of these! Awesome! But didn't you get fired after if you made them? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I spent the same amount of money on this model as it cost to build the real thing. And my boss wasn't very happy with me. <laughs> Boy, Daddy, didn't... Oh, hey, Daddy, didn't you say you built a secret mechanism inside of it? <laughs> I'll tell you about it someday when you're older. A secret mechanism? Maybe installed it as payback for getting fired? It could be trouble. Now I'm curious. Is that a reference to another game? I don't I feel like it is. I feel like it might, but it's not clicking with me at the moment. Uh, maybe it's, right, so I guess... It says maybe secret sex dungeon? Okay, I didn't even think like... I don't know. Alright, uh... Alright, so, uh, let's talk to our person, Manfred. Today's trial should have ended in just one minute. Because the defendant was picked up by a security camera, correct? Exactly. The killer had the gall to say that he only killed because he was instructed to do so. Even more outrageous is his claim that the case prosecutor burned Faraday and gave the order. That was up his face. <laughs> God, he looks like a, a celebrity, doesn't he? It, it's escaping my mind who he looks like. It's bothering me. I, I want to say Tommy was so, but not really. Oh god, no. <laughs> Faraday's such a fool. He's been cornered by his very own prey. Sir, are you an acquaintance of Mr. Bird Faraday? <laughs> He's a pathetic man who speaks nothing but nonsense. Nonsense? He once tried to explain to me a way of punishing those who cannot be brought to court. Those who cannot be brought to court? That is nonsense for no man to above to, uh, that that is nonsense for no man is above the law. Well, there's always a few exceptions. However, there's no reason to even deal with such individuals. A prosecutor is a guardian of the court, one with no obligation to outside matters. Thus there's no reason to deal with such individuals, I see. Edgeworth, disgracing yourself as Faraday has has won uh, has will not be forgiven. What? Uh. I don't know. I have no fear. I will not let you down, sir. In place of the accused prosecutor, Baron Faraday, I'll prove the defendant's guilt. Very good. I've secured an hour of recess for you to prepare to do, to do just that. Show them all. The power of Von Karma. Uh. I guess we have to talk to him. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, sorry. You're good. So, have you achieved a firm understanding of the case? Yes, sir. I have memorized everything that's written down in the case files. Well oh, then. Oh, shoot. Wait, do we have stuff for... Oh, okay, we don't have anything in the organizer. Okay. Well then, explain the case to me. I want to see if you really know what you're talking about. Understood. A murder was committed on September 8th in front of the, the Code. Hold on. Codopian Embassy? I think so. Yeah, Codopian Embassy. The victim, Mr. D <laughs> Son of a damn it. <laughs> Deadman! Deadman! Oh my god! Uh, at least it's not as bad as Spirit of Justice, but for God's sakes, Dead Man? <laughs> I forgot about this, apparently. The victim, Mr. Dead Man, was a staff member at the embassy. The defendant in this case, Mr. Mac Rell? 
Mackerel. Mackerel? Mm. He looks like a fish. That, I guess. I don't, yeah, yeah. The defendant, Mr. Mackerel, was held for questioning the night of the incident as he was deemed suspicious. He was quickly placed under arrest, uh, under arrest for possession of the murder weapon, a gun. Furthermore, at the time of the murder, the great thief Dalagarasu had successfully infiltrated the Kodopian embassy as well. At first, Rel claimed that he himself was, was Yadagarasu, but then he did not kill a dead man. I wonder what he expected to gain from from f to no, what he dis I wonder what he expected to gain from such a desperate lie. It's possible that he wants to go down while in the spotlight if he's found guilty. That's truly there truly is no limit to people's uh, inanity. Whatever. But I digress. Continue, Edgeworth. Yes, sir. During the trial, the prosecution presented the security footage that captured a murder. The footage clearly showed Mr. Rell as a murderer. The act that Mr. Rell fired in the gun could be clearly seen from the visitor's gallery. Upon seeing that, the defendant re retracted his statement and admitted to the murder. I didn't. I did it because I was told to by the real Yadagarasu Baron Faraday. Hmm. That sounds about right. However, you've forgotten one thing. <gasps> While this may appear to be s to simply be the murder of the Kodopian Embassy staff member, people are actually referring to it as the second KG-8 incident. The second KG-8 KG incident? I'm very sorry, sir. I fear I'm, f I'm, fear I'm failed to study hard enough. Hmm. <clears throat> well, even, even among the police, it's the information that only a select few are privy to. Privy. Hey, is this privy or privy? Now I'm wondering. I think it's privy. Privy. I've heard it privy. Okay. Could you please enlighten me, sir? Yeah. Okay. Why the hell? Sorry, it's a lot of talking. That's fine. Sir, what do you mean by the second KG-8 incident? In order for me to tell you that, you must first learn about the original case. Take a look at these documents. This is a three-year-old newspaper. Uh, let's try. Check. Co that thing, embassy staff member Manny Cochin found not guilty. A shadow over the Amano group, the victim CCU. Wait, what's his relation to the smuggling ring? I think that's what it says. At the bottom of it? Oh, oh, I see, yeah. So CCU. Huh. Wait, so. Oh, she. Wait, was that? The victim, Miss CC, is it or is it? No, it's CC. I think yeah, CCU. C CCU, I think, and then that Manny Coach, I'm assuming, is the guy on the right. I, I don't know why I thought that was a uh, burn for a second. Uh, okay. I don't know what the hell that has to do about it. Okay. You've heard about the Amano Group scandal before, correct? Oh. Well, are you good? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Yes, I have. The secretary, Ernest Amano, the Amano Group's uh, director, was arrested under suspicion of smuggling. Correct. CCU was an employee of the Amano Group, and the sole witness to the smuggling operation. It was she who brought the crime to light. However, Miss Yu was silenced before she could testify in court. Wasn't a Co Kodopian embassy staff member arrested for the murder? Yes. A Kodopian by the name of Manny Cochin was the suspect. However, due to the lack of evidence, the case was went unresolved. Lack of evidence? Ha! Huh. If only I was in charge of the case, I would have done everything in my power to prove his guilt. To make sure that all the criminals are found guilty, my mentor really is dedicated. Ah. Yeah, okay. Faraday was a prosecutor on the case then, and he was as pathetic as ever. Mr. Faraday was in charge of the KGG, KG-8 incident as well? That's right. And now, once again, the victim of the case you are currently assigned to was someone who was scheduled to testify against that smuggling operation. And just like last time, the victim was murdered right before he, right before he was to testify. You're catching on. The victim was murdered just before his day in court against the smuggling operation. Events are occurring almost exactly the same way as they did in the KG-8 incident. So that's why it was be uh, it's being called the second KG-8 incident. Yes. 
Yes, there's one difference between the two incidents. What would that be? The so-called noble thief that is sending everyone into an uproar. The great thief Yadagarasu. Yadagarasu? I better find out more. Okay, uh, let's talk about the Yadagarasu. If it's true that the Yadagarasu showed up at the Kod Kodopian Embassy, what could he or she have been after? Hmm. No doubt to steal any suspicious accounting records and release them publicly. Or, more likely, to steal secrets from the Kodopian Embassy itself. Since the item that the Zyadagrasu stole from there was sent to the police. What was it that the Zyadagrasu sent to the police? I don't know the details. Everything related to the Zyadagrasu is getting the top secret treatment. Still, I find it very ironic. By returning the stolen item to the police, it was proof positive the Zyadagrasu had infiltrated the embassy on the same day the staff member was killed. Criminals have a way of incriminating themselves, wouldn't you say? That would that would have to be the first time the Arakurasu has left evidence behind, correct? Yes, indeed. If you wish to learn more about the Arakurasu, then I suggest you ask Faraday. And Mr. Faraday? He happens to be the prosecutor in charge of the Arakurasu case as well. He's the prosecutor in charge of both the KG-8 incident and the Arakurasu case? That's convenient. Mr. Faraday really has a lot on his plate. What is it, little girl? Look, you're scary, mister. Ugh. Did you need something? Um, I want to trade these coins with you. A fistful of dimes, quarters, and pennies. Well, it looks like you've, you've, like you've exactly a dollar. Is this what you want? Oh, <laughs> thanks! That's exactly what I need. Aww. Bye. <laughs> Could that child be here to watch the trial? How disrespectful for a child like that to be running around inside a courthouse. Does, oh, man, just shut up. Does no one have respect for the country's judicial system anymore? The paperwork for a prosecutor is substitution is complete. Why, you... Do you even know how much time there is left before a trial resumes? Oh, I... I'm so sorry! I could have you mopping up this courthouse instead of protecting it, uh, in an instant! Uh, it's no bother, sir. Not being completely prepared could prove to be a perfect handicap for me. <clears throat> Proud one you are. You had better collect the evidence from Faraday and prepare yourself. It's time for your debut, Edgeworth. Do we get to prosecute? Oh, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? We're, uh -huh. I mean, we're in a courtroom. <laughs> hmm. Just what is going on? Why isn't Faraday here yet? Uh How's it possible that the defense is not prepared yet either? Bailiff, where is Mr. Faraday? Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, oh, hey, Dad, you oh, walk in! Gosh, it's been a long day. Uh, actually, I think you can go ahead and voice him. Ah, oh, you must be the one Mr. Von Karma recommended. He's still <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at you all sideways profiling. <laughs> I hear this will be your first trial. I look forward to seeing how you perform. Oh, uh, by the way, was there someone celebrating a birthday during the recess? I could have sworn that I heard a popper going off. Oh, no. I... Oh, God, Judge. <laughs> You're still an idiot all, all these still years an ago. an idiot. I really want to make like, a huge prequel game of the Judge. Of all... <laughs> Oh, that would be fun if you could be a judge for the Ace Attorney series. Well, see, I'm wondering, isn't it usually, like, to become a judge, you have to be a lawyer first? I think so. So, can you imagine him as a lawyer? Oh my god, he'd be the cutest judge lawyer ever! Watch him still have the old man beard, even at a young <laughs> age. Oh, I want, I want, oh my god, I need to see this. <laughs> see, so Capcom, make this happen, please. And if you guys need voice actors, hey! Hey! 
Come to think of it, the other day with my grandson. Uh, sir, it looks like the trial is about to resume. However, yes, it will, ha it will be all but impossible to prove the witness a liar. Without the evidence of from Faraday. What is that blessed up a food up to? Uh, <laughs> it's an emergency source! Oh! Wait, oh! Wait a minute! Gumshoe! Uh, uh, si that's you. Silence! There should be no yelling in the sacred hall of law. Bailiff, remove that man from his courtroom at once! Oh, it is Gumshoe! Uh, please wait! You have to listen to me! There's an emergency! Defendant lobby number two, M M Mr. Faraday and the defendant, the, the two of them, they're, they're both dead, your honor. What? 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 Well, crap. That sucks. Run, Edgeworth. <laughs> Whoa, who, sir? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Who's this? Stay back. Ah! The You're scary, mister. No one's allowed in the crime Whoa. scene. Period. Dude, look at him. Just got <laughs> bullet holes in his jacket. Looking like Swiss That's... cheese. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> That's cool though. That's ooh. He looks so badass, man. Oh, I wonder what his name is. <laughs> ah. Just who does this oddball think he is? Oh god, wasn't this that girl in the thing in the courtroom? Oh uh, yeah. Oh crap, what kind of voice should I give her? I don't know. This is becoming quite the hot spot. Isn't she Mr. Rail's defense attorney? Hey you! No running in a hallway, pal! And who are you to tell me what to do? I'll never find out what's going on like this. It's time for, for, for some civil discourse. Oh! So we get to introduce ourselves to these people. Yeah. Alright, uh... Alright, um... I guess... Hmm. You know, I want to end the episode. Okay. I want to end the episode. I know it's just it was a lot of talking, but I've learned a lot, and that's a lot of information to process. So I want... So we're going to end it here, and then we'll introduce ourselves in the next episode. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. And if it almost told you that they love you today, I do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. I want some Swiss cheese now. Ew. What? That's good. You want that moldy, nasty-looking cheese? What type of cheese have you been eating? I'm just saying, he looked like that cheese got molded. That's what his jacket looks like. Just because his jacket looks like Swiss cheese, I mean, I want moldy Swiss cheese. I want Swiss cheese, period. Oh my god, okay. I'm just hungry. Okay, alright, obviously. Well, damn.